Good morning. It is a Tuesday morning. We've got big surf along the coast. We've got rain in the forecast, but more towards the end of the weekend and then beyond. It looks like kind of an extended wet period. We'll look at the long range forecast model and temperatures today in Northern California are going to be in the mid 60s, upper 60s, low 70s. Southern California, you're in the mid 70s and Pacific Northwest, you get a chance to dry out as those wind advisories are still up. We'll look at those. Um, and the, the rain is essentially winding down after days of uh, torrential rain and a lot of issues, hydro issues. Have an interesting uh, sh shot from this morning. This is from Mount Tamalpais. Marin County, looking back towards San Francisco. And what I want you to notice is, see the, the valley fog in here, that's Mill Valley. And then you've got coastal fog or advection fog. So there's the advection fog, there's the valley fog, and it only stays on it for a minute, but watch how they kind of interact as I go through time here. See how that starts to, they both are one sloshing in, one sloshing out. Isn't that interesting? So you don't, it's not, you do see this time of year, you do see both types of fog, radiation fog, this kind of fog, is Thule fog, radiation fog, or valley fog. Usually, you know, same, same mechanisms essentially form the fog. It's just cold, cold land, moisture, high pressure. Same thing out here, cooler ocean, high pressure, plenty of moisture, and this is the advection fog, which is more of a summertime fog. So just a cool shot. And then it, check this out. This is, it switches cameras and goes over to the sunrise. And what you'll see here, that's Mount Diablo, right off in the corner here. And you see a few of those clouds. We had some scattered sprinkles last night because of, ooh, isn't that pretty? So that's the valley fog. That's a camera flare. Awesome. So a lot of valley fog. And there are dense fog advisories in the area. Let's take a look. So the big surf along the coast, right? So there's a high surf advisory or high surf um, alert for our section. Should be a high surf warning actually, because it's big. But there are extreme, uh, large high surf warnings in Seattle and further south. So we'll see that. Here is the dense fog advisory. Central Valley getting hammered. Bunch of fog around here. The clouds that were moving through this morning have kind of moved off. It's going to be sunny for most of us once the fog clears. This is down south. This is uh, Point Conception. And then there is your high surf advisory down by Halama and up towards Lompoc and further. And then we've got go up north to the northwest and you've got a high surf um, warning, which is, is a big deal, right? High surf warning is like, it's, it's big. So that's from Ocean Park all the way down to Florence. And then you still have winter storm warnings up around Mount St. Helens, Toledo, you've got a wind advisory, and then you've got a winter weather advisory down in these blue areas. So it's just sort of an active period. It's, it's been really active actually for the Pacific Northwest, and that's now just starting to wind down. So big, big picture here, dry, dry, dry. We're all getting a break, a little bit of valley fog. That's an indication of stable environment. By the weekend, though, things change around in California from Crescent City South down to Los Angeles next week, looks like it's the bullseye. The real, the main weather story right now is, this is big surf along the coast. This is Ocean Beach. The swell is about I'd call it 15 feet, 10 to 15. Um, the, the buoys are running almost 10 feet at 13 seconds. Not a big interval. That's how close together the waves are. That's how pushed in together they are. That's a short interval. A, a bigger interval would be, you know, if you get a 25 second interval, it would look a lot cleaner. Um, and let's see, I think the lane, this is the steamer's lane this morning. Uh, this is about, oh gosh, probably about 10 minutes ago. It's nine o'clock in the morning, but that's a good day. Um, and when it breaks big like this on a big day, it breaks out in this channel. So I got another camera. So here's the, it's, see where we're looking here. Now we're looking at steamer lane. You can see it peaking up out here. The big sets are gonna work off a reef that sits out in the middle, sort of a middle peak kind of a thing. Um, so it's big down there too. Um, it's big all along the coast, all the way into Southern California. It's good size or fun size, if you will, in San Diego but uh, large surf lines. So, and it's not gonna go down anytime soon. Hawaii is big again today too. Pipeline is like 10 to 15. Um, it's early there now. The sun's just, you know, it's just getting light over there. So I was looking at the pictures this morning. So it's big there too, and it's gonna stay big. The Pacific is lit. Um, and this is one of the ways you can tell. So see, um, I'm gonna put a loop around us. So here's, I'm gonna put a loop around the whole West Coast, okay? So it's gonna be in here. These are all, this is vorticity representing 
um, instability in the atmosphere. And just count this as the jet stream. So I'm going to roll it through so you can get a feel for how it moves, right? West to east, right? And with those spinnies, spinners, those are low pressure centers that are generating wind because they're spinning counterclockwise. And that wind that is being generated up in this area, up near the Aleutians, is generating nonstop ocean swell. So for the next you know, three, four days, it's going to be fluctuating up and down. It's very, it's a really dangerous ocean right now, especially Santa Cruz North, especially uh, you folks up around Fortuna, you folks Cannon Beach, it's gnarly. It's just, it's just a lot going on. So, um, you know, don't crab fishermen, because this is when you guys go, just not a good time. Um, everywhere, all along the coast, except South Point Conception is manageable. So here we are again. Here is the, 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 the current move. This is uh, this evening, this afternoon, so nice day today. And then right here, somewhere around Thursday morning, you see that little blip come in right through Central California, comes underneath Oregon and right in Central California, that is Friday morning. That might be a few sprinkles. That's kind of a new development. But the th main thing is, remember we were talking about March 3rd and 4th? Here we are on the 2nd. It looks like it's starting to open up pretty nicely. See that next system come in? That's on March 3rd. This is March 4th. And look at the progression. So this looks like a very productive period for us. Look at that. That's a bad boy right there. That's March 10th. So somewhere that first week, you know, around that first week in March, um, we're going to, you know, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, it's going to be stuff going on, especially California, south down to, to um, Southern California. So this is that accumulation map, the GFS that we use. It's just going to show you day after day, it, the rainfall accumulates. And what you can visualize, first of all, is like, okay, how wet is it going to be? And where is it going to be wet? Not bad. All the way through Friday. Here comes that Friday thing we looked at. And you can see it's not a real big producer. This is now Sunday morning. And you can see, you know, a hundredth of an inch, two hundredths of an inch. It's the, the cutoff low mainly stays offshore. But when it kicks in right here, that is March 4th. And you see these totals start to climb. And you see them really start to climb as we get into the 8th and 9th. And then they really lie. Look at that. So that's through the 12th. So you get the vibe, right? I mean, that's, you can see rain, significant rain in the fire zones of Southern California by March 12th. This is accumulation. It's not coming in one storm. But you do see the last, right in here, from March 9th through the 12th looks pretty aggressive, especially for Northern Central and even Southern California. So keep an eye on that. In the meantime, you've got this, there's the valley fog trying to come out through the valley, right through the Golden Gate Bridge. Here's the coastal fog stuck in at Bolinas and Point Reyes. See how it's um, pushing up into the redwoods up above Stenson Beach. Um, beautiful day above the fog. And so the fog's gonna be, you know, player the next couple of mornings. But lot, that's a nice looking shot, right? Because you can see both types of fog. We were talking about them earlier. We can go to the mountain. Ski week is over. We'll see if we can get this camera to work for us. And we did. This is, um, I think this is Far East below. I think that's Far East. That's the chair. That's right at the base of um, Palisades Tahoe. Looks like an awesome day. They do a nice job grooming the runs. Not seeing a lot of snow in the trees, right? And you're not going to see a lot of snow. Going to see a lot of snow in the trees. Not for a while, as this uh, uh, warmer weather kind of sticks around. It's going to be, that's a spring-like day. That's the Funatel working its way to the top of the mountain. But you see a lot more rocks exposed. Um, skiing's good, from what everybody tells me. But it's just, um, you know, it's just uh, not going to snow for a while. This is Sugar Bowl. It looks pretty quiet up there today, right? You can see the chairlift moving, terrain jump. If you're over, hmm, if you're over... 48 just go around it don't go through it i used to try to do cool things there because it looks like if you're 14 it'd be awesome but when you're 48 or in my case much older just kind of take the route there's a trail that goes right around it. see this dude that's what you do right there you go right around it you come in take this left you go right up to the lodge grab yourself a soda sit on the deck and watch little kids do that stuff north star again beautiful day and not as crowded. You can remember last week's ski week was busy. So the story this week is mountains are sick right now. The skiing's real good and it's going to be good and fun right through the next few days. But on the weekend, things start to change around and we end up with a 
storm door opening of sorts. But remember, March 4th kind of through that 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th period looks pretty wet. All right, that's kind of a quick one. A lot going on. Talked about snow. Talked about surf. Talked about the dense fog advisories. Those are going to stick around. A little bit of everything, but nothing's extreme right now, fortunately, except northern um, up around Cascades. You got some wind issues, but those are coming down quickly, and it's going to be a better day this afternoon and tomorrow than it has been with those flood watches and flood warnings. Okay, see you back here.